Hey guys, Pastor Josh here. I wanted to update you all on some uh, financial opportunities and a little bit of a financial review of our last six months as a church. Uh, as many of you know, uh, we our fiscal year runs from July to June, and so we are six months into our ministry budget year. And as of now, uh, we are $17,800 below our estimated budget income. Uh, that does not mean that we are $17,800 in debt. Uh, we want to be good stewards of the money that uh, we receive and then, exp uh, then spend on ministry. And so we have been uh, very careful to only spend what we bring in, but we anticipate needing that full budgeted amount before the uh, fiscal year is up. Uh, and so I wanted to just make you aware of that first and foremost, because I know that you guys uh, want to make sure that we stay on budget. Um, and so if you have, for any number of reasons, got behind in your designated giving plans or um, what you intended to give and just kind of got away from it, this would be a great time to get caught up as we end the year. And then some of you guys, uh, by God's grace and mercy, have been blessed um, with uh, financial wealth. And at the end of a, a calendar year, uh, your accountant or your tax advisor is going to say, hey, won't you give this money away and that's going to uh, save you money on how you're taxed. I am obviously uh, not real versed in that, and that's wonderful that, uh, that you guys are in an, opera, or in an occasion in which you can do that. But if you are, are there, we want that money. So consider us, pray over whether or not that uh, you would choose to give us that amount so that we could go into the calendar year not in a hole, and we could uh, you know, finish up on the, six, the, the next six months uh, not even thinking about that. Uh, as you think about it and pray about it, I also want to make known to you our plans for phase two on updating our facility. A couple of years ago, we started a uh, phase one capital campaign in which we raised about $125,000 to uh, purchase the space in which we now own and worship, and then also to um, redesign and repurpose the two bottom theaters of the building into the, what is now our main worship gathering space. And so that's been awesome. Uh, God has used that to uh, make it a, a better place for you guys to invite your friends, to invite non-Christians. Our church has grown through that. And we're now at a space or a phase now in which our kids' spaces are insufficient to serve and minister to the families there. And also, uh, we want to uh, become a little more professional, a little more excellent, a little more stable as an organization to better handle the growth that God is uh, blessing us with, meaning we need counseling rooms to, to, to meet with people uh, at. Because right now, if someone needs to do counseling, we're meeting in a kid's space. It's kind of unprofessional. It's kind of clunky. It's not set up to do that in a very hospitable, uh, healthy way. And so we, wanna, we want to renovate the uh, upstairs apartments on the front of our building for office space and meeting rooms and a library just to be able to uh, use the space in a more functional way. And uh, we also have plans to renovate our lobby and renovate the uh, bathrooms. Those of you who are gals particularly and are using bathrooms in our uh, current state will really be excited about that. So just wanted to update you on some of those opportunities that we're going to be rolling out. We're going to be raising money for those projects that I mentioned. And then also uh, we're asking for you guys to uh, help us to stay on budget through the ministry year. If you have any questions about our budget, about where we're spending money, or the projected plans, uh, that I just sort of teased today. We'll be giving you more details uh, here in the coming year. Uh, don't hesitate to ask a pastor or to email me, josh at redemptionchurch.me. Uh, full disclosure, we have nothing to hide. We're excited to, uh, to share with you what God's doing right now and what we're hoping that God will do through our church in the future. Thanks.